Hey guys, Hop here. Thanks for tuning in to TFB TV. You guys might have noticed that I'm a bit of a Glock fanboy. It's just about the only thing James Reeves and I see eye to eye on, at least as long as he's wearing tall shoes. But as much as I love Glocks, I've never been that interested in custom Glocks or Gucci Glocks. First handgun I ever bought was a Generation 3 Glock 19. I still have it. It's still pretty much completely stock. My favorite handgun of all time is my Generation 2 Glock 19, which still has the stock Glock trigger and the stock Glock bucket sights. Everybody knows handgun design achieved perfection in 1988. It's a scientific fact. But today, we're taking a look at the Shadow Systems MR920 Elite. This is a super custom, optics-ready Glock 19 clone. It's got a lot of features on it that I don't like on handguns, like spiral fluted barrel and windowed slide cuts. It's also very expensive. I should probably hate this thing, but I don't. This is the best Glock clone I've ever shot, and it might be one of my favorite handguns of all time. Let's take a closer look at it. Shadow Systems makes a wide range of Glock clones, all of them in the middle to the high end of the market. The one we're looking at today is the MR920, which is the midsize. Basically, it's the same size as a Glock 19 and uses 15 round Glock magazines. Shadow Systems also makes the DR920 a full size, the XR920 a full size frame with a Glock 19 length slide, and the MR920L a midsize frame with a full length slide. So Shadow Systems is covering the spread of Glock 19, Glock 17, Glock 45, and I guess those Holy Grail Police Surplus Glock 17s with the frames cut down to 19 size. Man, I want one of those so bad. The MR920 is available in a few trim levels, like the Combat or the Elite, with or without an optics cut, and with or without a threaded barrel. This pistol is basically a Generation 3 Glock 19 clone, but Shadow Systems seems to try a little harder than most companies in the Glock knockoff business. The MR920 is not fully compatible with Generation 3 Glock 19 parts. The slide internals are a bit different in an MR920 to accommodate the Shadow Systems optics cut. The optics-ready MR920s are milled for Shadow Systems proprietary optics cut, which is compatible with most optics footprints on the market. The cut is large enough to fit any optic up to and including a Delta Point Pro, and depending on what optic you have, you need to install a spacer to fill up the rest of the gap. The MR920 comes with all the hardware and spacers to adapt to the common red dot patterns. I installed a Holosun 507C X2 on the gun for this review. The grip frame of the MR920 also differs from your typical lazy Glock clone. Like a lot of Glock clones built around the P80 frame, this has a more upright grip angle, no finger grooves, and very nice texture, as well as a bit of an undercut on the trigger guard to give you a higher grip. The MR920 includes three sizes of backstrap, as well as an optional included extended magwall. The grip shape and texture feel great, very similar in my mind to a Polymer 80 frame, except Shadow Systems made sure to keep the critical dimensions the same as a stock Glock. So the MR920 is actually fully holster compatible with all G19 holsters that I can find. I used this gun in a Safariland ALS holster, and I carried it a lot in a T-Rex Gen 1 sidecar. Shadow Systems MR920 fits without modification into a Safariland. I think this is a 6390 or equivalent. Um, no real issues because Safariland holsters index off the ejection port. And the frame here is the same size, so the frame doesn't preclude fit into the holster, and the ejection port locking still works just fine. Uh, if you just leave the holster at stock retention, it's a little bit loose. But the gun wobbles around a little bit too much, but you can just adjust the screw down, and then it locks it in about as much as a stock Glock does. So I would consider that essentially perfect holster compatibility. The only downside to that I can think of is that they're still using the old universal Glock rail instead of a 1913 rail on the dust cover. The stock controls on the MR920 are pretty good. The magazine release is actually a lot more like a Generation 4 Glock than a Generation 3 Glock. The mag release I like, but I would rather have a slightly enlarged slide release. Here's my Generation 3 Glock 19, which I have lovingly customized with $25 worth of Glock OEM parts. This has the extended magazine release and slide release from the Generation 3 Glock 34. It's really all you need. I don't replace triggers on my handguns, and I don't like upgraded triggers on carry guns, especially not when they're target shooting oriented flat face triggers with worryingly light pull weights and questionable reliability. Luckily, the MR920 doesn't have an upgraded trigger, it actually has a downgraded trigger. 
The pull weight is comparable to a stock Glock, but the MR920 has a lot of creep and a mushy, indistinct break, not the crisp, consistent wall of a stock Glock trigger. I'm far from a trigger snob, so this trigger doesn't bother me at all, and it has a more comfortable contour than a stock Glock trigger. That's something to keep in mind if your main gripe with Glocks is the factory trigger, but keep in mind if you can't shoot with a stock Glock trigger, you probably just can't shoot at all. The same goes for stock Glock bucket sights, but that's a much better place to spend your upgrade money. The MR920 has excellent factory night sights. They're not super tall, but they do co-witness through most optics because the MR920 is direct milled and doesn't need a tall optics adapter plate. These are more combat-oriented sights, not target shooting sights, so there is quite a lot of air in them. They're not going to be the most precise. The sighting arrangement is a tritium front dot with a black serrated rear. It's an excellent sight layout for use with or without an optic, but it's not a great choice for shooting with night vision. The bloom of the front sight does obscure your target and the sight picture through your red dot. It doesn't make passive shooting with night vision impossible, just more difficult. It's a nitpick, I know, since shooting handguns under night vision isn't even that important for guys with night vision. The last big ticket feature of the MR920, unless I forgot something, was the threaded barrel, but this one doesn't have it. Thank goodness. Suppressing handguns is way overrated. So how does the MR920 shoot? It shoots like a Glock, because it's a Glock. I know, we're really breaking new ground here. I've been shooting and carrying the MR920 a lot for the last couple of months. At first I was just doing it for the review, but then I got to really liking it, and now I'm going to be sad when I have to send this thing back. Shadow Systems does have a disclaimer in the manual that the MR920 might need up to 200 rounds of break-in. I shot it with a bunch of cheap 115 grain brass and steel ammo, and I never had any malfunctions. I just ran it like it came out of the box, no additional cleaning or lubrication. First shot's MR920. Supposedly this needs some break-in, so we'll see. Yeah, probably not. Like with a lot of Glocks that aren't Glocks, the MR920 includes Magpul Glock P mags instead of Glock OEM mags. I wouldn't recommend using them for serious purposes. They are great, affordable range mags, but I'm not convinced that they're as reliable as Glock mags. I love shooting the MR920 and carrying the MR920, but then again, it's basically the same as my Generation 3 Glock 19, which is what I used to shoot and carry before I was reviewing this gun. All my muscle memory and experience shooting Glocks carries over from my Generation 3 19 over to the MR920. It's just a Glock, but a little bit nicer. Also, you might not think that the slide cuts and the fluted barrel reduce weight by that much, but the first few weeks I carried the MR920, I kept checking it to see if I had a loaded magazine in the gun. It was just enough lighter than my G19 that it felt off. It's not light enough to make a big difference in day-to-day -day carry. I mean, I still have a mid-sized pistol and two loaded magazines shoved down the front of my pants. There are plenty of good high-end handguns out there, but usually where they start to fall apart is the value proposition. Surprisingly, the Shadow Systems MR920 is actually a really good value, despite being so expensive. This version has the optics cut, night sights, windowed slide, and a fluted barrel, it comes with three magazines, a carrying case, and all the hardware you need for the optics cut. MSRP is about 1100 bucks for the MR920 Elite, but MSRP is kind of a meaningless number. Some guns like Ruger sell way below MSRP, some guns like SIG sell at or above it. Street price of the MR920, depending on configuration, is in the $700 to $900 range. The only problem is that it can be hard to find the one you want. Unfortunately, most of the MR920s I see for sale have the gold titanium nitride finish on the barrel, which is just grotesque. So is the price you're paying really worth it? Some of what you're paying for is absolutely worth it. The optics cut interface on the Shadow Systems guns is better in my opinion than the Glock MOS cut. The gun comes with upgraded co-witness sights, which you were probably going to add to your Glock anyway. The fancy slide milling and spiral fluted barrel, on the other hand, are largely cosmetic features. The tasteful factory slide serrations on an MOS Glock aren't going to get you killed in the grocery store. Whether or not you like how the MR920 slide milling looks doesn't matter. It's still going to shoot the same, it still handles the same, it still has the same capacity and barrel length as a Glock 19. So my recommendation is going to go like this. If you aren't interested in red dots on handguns, don't buy a Shadow Systems gun. The whole appeal of the 920 is the clever optics mounting system. The rest of the MR920 is just a vehicle to deliver you that optics cut. If you want a custom Glock with a red dot on it, this is the one right here. If, on the other hand, you want a normal Glock with a red dot on it, the MR920 Elite is probably not for you. It's a lot of money to spend for some polarizing aesthetics. That doesn't mean you have to get an MOS cut Glock and then deal with replacing sights and using an optics adapter plate. 
Shadow Systems recently added a cheaper, simpler model to the 920 lineup called the FS, or Foundation Series. The MR920 FS nixes the fancy slide milling, the gold barrel finish, and even the tritium night sights, and should run you about as much as an MOS Glock. It still has the two best features of the 920, the optics cut and the frame geometry. The 920 Foundation Series looks like exactly the Glock for me. Perfection perfected. That's the show, guys. Thank you for watching. TFB TV is supported by our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply. We're also supported by our viewers via Subscribestar and Utreon. Links to both of those are in the video description. Please support our sponsors. Please check out those links. If you join up, you'll be eligible for a bunch of cool giveaways that James puts together, and you'll also get access to some bonus videos like a Q&A series that he and I have been doing. Just quite a lot of fun. Stay tuned. See you guys next time.